Okay, so to make a simple soccer ball, first we're going to be in Blender and go with the default general scene, and then I'm going to go to the scene collection, delete everything, then go up to add and go to mesh and add an icosphere, because the icosphere is made out of triangles. So this is a little bit too low poly, so I'm going to turn that up. So now we're going to go into edit mode, and first you're going to go through and select all of the pentagons, which are made up of five triangles all together. The rest of these are hexagons, which are made out of six that go all together. So these um, pentagons are going to be the black squares, or not the black squares, the black pentagons that are on the soccer ball, a classic black and white soccer ball. So it should look something like this, and then you're going to right-click and separate selection. Okay, so now we have this, and I'm going to go to scene collection and label this black, and then I'm going to label this white, and then I'm going to hide the black squares, or pentagons, and then go into white and go back into edit mode, and find these, like, triangles, sort of, this shape. It's like a triangle, but this, the um, corners are beveled, kind of, so, and they're all made out of triangles, so I'm going to just select one and then separate. Okay, so now I have all of them separated. So not all soccer balls look like this. Usually they have actual hexagons, but this is just the easiest way to make it with an icosphere. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, so now we have, I don't think, I separated it from the original, so this original white one is empty, so I'm just gonna delete that. Now we have all of this, but now it kinda, it doesn't have any geometry that's actually separating it, so if I were to join them all back together, it would still be a plain old icosphere. So now I'm going to extrude all of these faces, which will take a little while, but it's not that high poly, so it won't take super long time. So I'm going to go in to... First, I'm actually going to create a collection of all of the white pieces so that I can hide them all at one time. So once all of those are hidden, you go into the black and select one piece at a time, one um, pentagon at a time, and hit E to extrude, and point zero one is what I'm going to do. You can do however far you want out, but it's just going to sort of separate it out from the original sphere. And then it'll create like seams in between all of the patches. So now I'm going to speed this up while I do all of that. Okay, now I think all of them are extruded. So now if we go back and unhide the white, you'll see that they kind of come out. So now we're going to do this to all of the white pieces and the reason why we separated them was so that it was easier to select them. So basically, I'm going to hide the black again, and then, but you can go into edit mode and hit A to select all, and then just extrude it the same amount that you extruded the black pieces. So now just do the exact same thing, and yeah, I'm going to speed this one up too. Okay, now I think I have all of them extruded. Just go in and kind of go move the view so that it's off to the side so that you can see if the um, if there's like a crease in between each patch. And I think there is. So now we have sort of a soccer ball, but it still looks really low poly, which if you want that, that's great. And you don't even have to do this, but if you want it to be smoother, you can hit A to select all and then right click and shade smooth. So now it looks, it's smooth, but it's like puffy because the shadows are very dramatic. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shade flat again and then go first, I'm going to go in and hide the black and then select all of the white, join them together. And then for both of them, go into modifiers and add an edge split modifier. So go back into this one and add that too. Select all, shade smooth. So now Look at that, it's pretty good. So if you want to see it again without the edge split, and then, so now it's really smooth, but these edges are just, they're still a bit sharp, so it's still a little bit low poly. So if this is a good level of poly for you, then keep it like this, but if it's not, what I'm gonna do is hide the white, and then hit, hold down Alt, and then click an edge, and it'll select all of the edges that are in a loop. And then um, hit Control and B to bevel, and it will, yeah, it'll bevel. So then you can pull up this menu on the side, 
and increase the number of segments. So if it's three, that's higher poly than one. And then you can hit clamp overlap so that once this right here goes further down, it won't mess up the entire geometry and like go out and look really weird. See, this is what it looks like if you don't clamp it and it looks weird, it like messes up everything basically. So just clamp that. And I'm gonna make this point zero one. So now I'm gonna go in and do that to all of them. So I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, so now they're all smoothed out on the edges. So you can go and unhide the white and see compared to the white ones which are still sharp, it's smoother. But when they're all um, when they're all smooth, it'll still have a crease, so it looks like they are different patches. So now you can go through and do this to all of the white ones. So just um, again hold down Alt and it'll select this one. It only selects this because the geometry is different, so it doesn't go all the way in a loop. So you have to select all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to top view and select all of the ones connected here and hold down Shift while you select other edges. So Shift and Alt. That way it continues selecting and it doesn't stop. Just like multiple. So now we kind of have this flower shape and then I'm going to bevel and 0 0.01 and boom. And then we're gonna go through and do that to the bottom. And then, so there's still this middle row. So I'm gonna do this one now. And this, I'm not gonna make a flower shape. I'm just gonna um, kind of go around and do them individually. Okay, now they're all selected, so control B, point zero one, enter, once you input that value. Or you can slide it, either way. So now see, look at how smooth that is. And I'm pretty sure, yep, it looks like I did that to all of them. Oh, something happened here. Um, I must have misclicked. I'm going to control Z so that I unbevel and then. Okay, now it should be, now it should work. It all looks smooth, okay. So now that we have this soccer ball that looks pretty smooth, um, I'm going to apply the edge split modifiers and we don't need this collection anymore. So I'm gonna delete it and then the white stays because the white is already joined so it's just one and follow me to part two to see how I texture it.